Hello guys, I will be showing you how to loot. So you want to get six or five rubber bands, like of the same size or and different colors if you want to. You want to get one of a skinny little rubber band too. You can also do them with the soft, like one of these. This is what I my after result. But we're gonna, I'm gonna try to make them with these. So what you want to do is wrap them around your your index finger you see and then you're gonna wanna twist it around this finger and then stick it your middle finger to that so you have a little eight a little eight or like that and you're gonna stretch it out again and then twirl it around place it through your ring finger slide it down if it, it'll get a little bit tight, but it's fine. You're going to take another one and do the same thing. Just make another eight again. And loop it around. After that, you see the back. You go to the back. You grab the one below. You see this? This one right here. Below that rubber band. What you want to do is lift over your fan and then boom, stop. Right. You're going to lift it over. Keep doing this on every finger. Lift it over and then down. And then keep doing it on each finger. Alright, so you see it should look like this. This is the start of your loom. And then you're going to do the same process. Keep doing it until all your rubber bands are used up like this. That you brung. Don't use like all your rubber bands. It might get cut your circulation off. But anyway. So we're going to, and then you're going to, you know, do the same thing. It's going to put the blue one down, lift it over. Well, if it's not going to be blue for you if you have different colors. But I, rec I recommend, like, not thin ones you're going to do with this. It, like, fat ones. Like, big, thick ones. And then you're going to just use them. But for the last step, you're going to need, a, like, a, a thin one. So. If there's anybody talking in the back room, it's just my family. But, yeah. I live with my whole family. Holy crap. This is so tight. I accidentally put like something on there, but keep doing this. You don't need any machines for this actually because machines are just some people don't have the machines. But if you can't get one rubber band over, you just got to keep working it up. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, I got into a sticky situation. Got it. Right. I'm going to put this one over again. All right. You see, this is the process of relooing. Cause see, it's starting to grow down your hand until it goes down there. This is my last set of things, so I'm making this for my pa, my papa, or if you call him grandpa, or yeah. So I'm gonna. He doesn't like the internet <laughs> because he thinks it could like destroy stuff and stuff like you know hack. That's why he doesn't. Want, he only wants me playing like one game that requires no internet on his computer. And I cannot play anything else. It's only just retro ball and stuff. We're almost there. It's this last band, and we're gonna get into the next part. That's really hard kind of hard to do, but it's 
sorry, the what was the last one? Alright. I'm just gonna need to do this step. Lift it over my hand. We're gonna need to lift this. Alright. When you're if you wanna pause this if it takes you long, then you can pause it if you want to this but we're getting on to the next step. So you wanna put loop you see this? We're gonna if you can't see it but you're gonna stick this. So we're gonna stick it under this with the two ends like this. We'll get it in there. And you're gonna see this, this is halfway. Get it halfway stuck in there, and then you're gonna need to go from the top. Ow. Oh, I'm pulling it out. You want to get it like this, this thick one in here, and then it goes around there. And then you're going to want to stick it through, going through the bottom. Do there. So I did a wave pattern like this. And then once you do that, you're going to want to, oh, this one's falling. All right. You want to grab two ends like this, ends of it like this, and then pull it off your fingers. Oh no, mine's falling off. <sighs> there you go, you have a loom. Make sure to hit the sub and the like. I spent a lot of time on this. No, not really, but seven minutes. But my fingers are really red and they hurt. I had to make a lot of these. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to bring you over to my hand. This is not the last step. This is actually another step. And it looks like a scarf. Man, I'm on a, I'm making a YouTube video and I need you to tie this. Wait a minute, I'm on the phone too, Jay. I need you to tie this. Okay. Oh. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, sounds good. I have, all right. Okay, bye. Oh, what? Yeah, what? turn on your lamp, please. I can't reach it with you on my lamp. Okay, hold on. Hold, be still. How does it? Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? I want you to show you. I want you to tie this in the camera. Like wow. right here. Okay, wait. Can you get on my and arm? show them how you do it. Show who? The people that are, they're watching my videos. Who's watching? A millions of people. You just tie it like You a can't ring. see. You tie it just like you do a shoe. When you're tying your shoe, you cr cross it over. You think I just have to hold it so that it doesn't come undone because it's stretchy. You, if you guys know how to tie a shoe, you just do it twice. Like the first step, you do it the first step twice, just like you do without the loop. Yeah. Okay. Here, I just need to. I gotta get that between there. There we go. Just, just like a bit, like a knot. You just gotta tie a knot, like really, like those two. Well, like and subscribe, guys. Make sure to hit the um, follow, um, follow me. And um, yeah, basically that's it. You can check out the rest of my videos. See ya. Peace.